But let us look at the etiquette. And you see, when you read Islamic teachings, you will come across terminology as zafaf. Zafaf meaning the night when the husband goes to his wife. Meaning the night you send your son to his wife or you send the daughter to the house of her husband. So therefore, we're going to look at the etiquette that we need to uphold before we send our daughters to the house of the Amites. One, there must be a small ceremony. I don't know, maybe that is what you call Mendy, whatever, I don't know. But that one, I don't know where it comes from, but maybe it's one of them. There must be a ceremony. This is based on the rewire of Ahlul Bayt. It's a small ceremony. Maybe that's the one you call reception fine. Where you call especially family members, according to Islam, and close friends. When they come there, what are they coming to do? They must do tahalilat wa tahamidat. La ilaha illallah, alhamdulillah, subhanallah. That has to be chanted and to be recited during that gathering. When after that, there will be no any gathering but to send the girl back uh, to the house of her husband. That could be the same night. That could be after two days. That could be after three days. But that gathering, there must be a lot of the praises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But today, unfortunately, some of us, when we come to the mosque for marriage to be contracted, we become like angels. During our receptions, harams take place. Haram take place, unfortunately. Music, mixed gathering, without control. Haram. Haram. You've already destroyed the bridge you are building. When you gather for reception, where you preparing this boy and this girl for the next social life, there must be only praises of Allah. Hence you find when Amir al-Mu'mineen, our beloved Imam, got married to our beloved mom, Bibi Fatima, Rasulullah invited all the daughters of Abdul Muttalib and then the women of Ansar and the women of Muhajirin and they all came together what were they doing they were only chanting the praises of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that was after the marriage was contracted now after this so try to avoid the haram anything haram this is your special day make sure everything is done in accordance to the teachings of islam two is the advices of the parents islam highly encouraged that father mom sit with your daughter who is going somewhere father mom sit with your son who is welcoming a wife give them your advice but islam give us a guiding principle on how to advise them Today we don't follow this thing. That's why you find we struggle in our marriage. Divorce, divorce, divorce. Some are in marriage, but they are like in Jahannam. Because every day fight. Every day fight. There is no peace. They will experience peace maybe for a week or months. After that, another problem. We need to follow the teachings of Allah and Ahlul Bayt to build a very strong community for the reappearance of the awaited Savior. Two. Your advisors, like Aga, Sister Sukaina, okay, Haji, Walji, or you must sit with your daughters and your sons. Khatao. That is the second. And after your advice, they're going to be taken home. Your advice must be something less than they have to be taken to where they belong to. What are the general principles of the advice? Number one, you have to advise them on khushu. Khushu. Islam said the first advice you offer is khushu'a, piety, love of Allah. Look at your son and tell him, look at your daughter and tell her, you know how we raised you. We raised you a good Muslim, a good Shia, a good lover of Ahl al-Bayt. I want to see more of that in this marriage. 
Number two guiding principle, Islam says, advise them on the question of a kana'ah. -ah. Satisfaction. Advise your daughter, be satisfied with the little that your husband can switch. Advise your son, be satisfied with how your wife tries a level bus to show you the love. Don't demand the miracle from her, you also don't demand the miracle from him. And the third one, Islam says, advise them on husnu ta'a, to be obedient to one another. You have your own way on how you're going to advise. And then you advise, the fourth one, Islam says, tell her, Abi, that you are going to that family. They are now your family. And tell your son also, ah, the girl you are marrying, what? She's from a family. That family are now your family. And tell her, I don't want to hear anything bad about the family from you. Huh? And you also, I don't want to hear anything bad. When there is a problem, solve it between the two of you. I don't want to hear. This is how parents should advise. And Rasulullah did that with Fatima al-Zahra. He sat down. Amir al-Mu'mineen is Ma'asum. Fatima, the mother of Ma'asumin. She is Kawthar. But upon all that, Rasulullah sat with Fatima. Before sending Fatima to the house of Amir and advise baby Fatima alayhi salam. Hence, when you look at Abdullah Ja'far al Tayyar, we have so many advices. Ja'far al Tayyar, when one of his daughters got married, he advised her of three things. The first advice he gave his daughter is, Iyaki wal Gira. Don't be too possessive and jealous. You know, today this thing is killing us. Even there are some women, you stand with only your male friend, it becomes a Freshida. So now you father, this is the advice you have to advise her. And number two advice, Jafar Tayyar gave his daughter. Oh my daughter, try as much as you can not to point to the wrongs of your husband. Some of them ignore it. If you want to pick up every mistake, there will be no marriage. These are your duties, our fathers and mothers. And I see hardly we do that. We hardly have time. And this is the most important aspect of the marriage. Because your daughter is going to represent you in that house. And your son also is going to represent you in that family. So ensure that the good name of your family is protected and preserved. And then the last one, Jafar Tayyar advises his daughter is that my daughter always look presentable. Look presentable, dress properly. For your husband, dress properly for your wife. So number two is the advice. Number three, etiquette. The ladies have to send the girl to the house of their husband. And this has to be close, close family. They should send her to the house. And Islamically, the husband should be in the house before they come. So you are in the room and they are bringing her. And Islam says when they are taking her there, because they are ladies, they are in the car, they have to only chant the praises of Allah. Subhanallah, walhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. Same thing happened to Fatima alayhi salam. Look at the house of Rasulullah and the house of Bibi Fatima. But you got people like Ummu Ayman, Asma, all of them escorted Fatima to Zahra. But Islam says, my sister, my mom, when you take the daughter to the house of her husband, immediately leave the house immediately that's why she when they took fatima rasul was there the rasul asked all of them to go out and he asked ummu ayman and asma just to be at the door to usher everybody out then after that he left them fatima with amir al-mu'mineen 